All right, got another edition of Wardy Screencast, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own little Google website on Google Sites. It's very easy. We're going to use it in our writing workshop classes to create our own online portfolio of our writing so we can publish for an audience, uh, our peers, that which we write, what we're proud of. It doesn't just have to be writing workshop. I'm going to show you we're, we're going to use it if you did something in science class, a history paper or project or podcast. You can house everything here and it'll make it a little bit easier to go back and find stuff, but also show your parents, hey, this is what I'm doing in school. All right, this is the website I kind of created for my class rules, policies, all that kind of stuff. I use Google Sites and see it's pretty basic, but it works. All right, I'm going to show you the very quick, uh, this is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to create the site, how to choose a theme, how to create a page, how to post something. You're going to have to play around with it to make it look like the way you want it to, add pictures, that kind of stuff. But this will just help you set it up. So what you're going to do is go to your Google account. And instead of clicking on a drive, go down to Sites. And then you don't want to create a site here. Google Sites over the summer has really improved tremendously. I would not have used this before. I would have used Blogger, but I like the simplicity of the new Google Sites. You're going to click on New Google Sites. These are some blogs that I own or can share with me. Websites. You're going to go down here where it says Click New Site, Create New Site. Click that. Pretty much more already here. All right. I'm going to give it a title. So I'm going to call it Wordy's Words of the, the Wise. Uh, I can give this a, a page. I can come back and edit this. So I'm just going to put, you know, main news or something for now. I'm going to come back. And I can change the image. If I want to put a picture there, header type, I can make it a large banner, make it title only. I'm going to keep the banner for now. Over here, if you don't like the theme, like right now it's simple. I can make it Aristotle. And I can change the color of the line underneath, font style, make it classic, bold. Let's go modern. I'm just going to keep it modern. If I didn't like that, go diplomat. I really don't like that, so I'm going to keep it. Aristotle. No, go green. Carson Wentz. Philadelphia Eagles. E-A-G-L-E-S Eagles. All right. Now up here, if I want to do something on the main page, I could create, I could upload a picture, an image here. If I had a podcast, maybe upload it. I could put the URL, if I like an embed, uh, the YouTube video in there. For now, I just want to put a text box, and I'm going to call it first ramblings now this right here I can make that the heading so it'd be like a headline and then when I click enter it'll go back to just automatically the normal text and I could start literally typing creating a web page is exciting and put my little story there say it was my first story now I want to insert another one I'll just go to the text box. Now it'll put it second. Say you want to make this like this is your newest thing. Just drag it up. And then same deal. Title. New post. And then I could just type up a story. To create new pages. So you know, we're going to have the home page. I'm just going to click right here. Add a page. And say I want to make this my... Um, blog. This will be my ongoing blog. Done. Theme. Simple. Again, I can go back and add some titles and some stuff to it. I'm going to keep it Aristotle. You know, and I'll go back. I could add. I want, I want this to be a banner too. Right now it's just title only. But I want this to be a banner too because it looks cooler. Could add an image, could do all kind of stuff. Same thing. Insert new post. And I want 
this to be the heading once is once is the future all right I've set up pages set it up everything I think I'm ready to publish I want you to do one thing before you publish and that is add your teachers of your writing workshop class uh, as editors just in case we need to change something not that we're going to but you never know uh, keep people if they put bad comments up we can monitor that stuff think of more as moderators of a web message board kind of thing the other thing is this you're ready to publish so go ahead and publish make sure you keep it anyone that calls k12.org for privacy issues we don't want this out on the web at this point all right the cool thing here is you get your own little url so call so this will be sites.google.com backslash college k12.org slash whatever you want so i'm gonna put wordy's words wordy's words all right i'm gonna publish i legitimately now have a website up there now it's gonna still say publish i can always go in you know publish settings and that kind of stuff but i'm ready to view the site It's up. It's live. And that is really all there is to it. So play around with it. Make it yours. We're going to put our writings there this year, not just in writing workshop, language arts. I want history, science, health, whatever we write, whatever we do, podcasting, video stuff. If you're in digital journalism, we can add to this. If you're in the play and they get video, we can add it to it. You could put a page of you know, clubs and activities and, and keep a log of it it'll help you when you go to college this will kind of be like your little portfolio at least that's my vision all right we're just podcasts out